Ooh, there she is. Look at that. I had to break out my flashlight so you could see her. That's creepy. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm solo finding in the state of Kansas. I'm driving eastbound on I-70 headed back to Chicago. So let's go see what we can get into today. Woo, I'm excited. Kansas. Boom, guys. First stop is the world's largest easel in Goodland, Kansas. Check it out. It's the world's largest easel, but not the world's largest painting. It's a representation of Van Gogh's sunflowers in a vase. And, uh, it's pretty cool, man. Kansas is the sunflower state, so it just makes sense to have a Van Gogh sunflower painting in a giant easel here to attract the tourists in the town. Check it out, guys. The painting actually has texture like a real Van Gogh painting. Look at the the bottom sunflower. That's all texture in there on that. Uh, check that out. That's really cool. All right, guys, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the artist. His name is Cameron Cross. He's from Canada. This is one of three giant Van Gogh paintings he has created. The other two are in Canada. His goal is to create all seven Van Gogh sunflower paintings as giant reproductions in different countries. So three down, dude. You got, uh, what, how many? Four to go. <laughs> I couldn't count. <laughs> so here is the rear of the painting easel. I kind of just wanted to show you this because it, it really is an easel holding up a painting. It's this giant. It's this giant size. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here's the legs and stuff. And then the easel, dude, look at that. I wonder if they're going to swap the paintings on every now and then. That might be cool. Boom. All right, guys. Next stop is Lucas. Lucas was dubbed the grassroots capital of Kansas because of attractions like the Garden of Eden and the Grassroots Art Center. But I'm not here for those. Boom, guys. I am here for this. It's a public restroom shaped like a giant toilet. It even has a toilet paper roll, giant toilet paper roll. It's the sidewalk. It's, unwra it's unwrapped as a sidewalk. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's follow the toilet paper up into the rim or the seat of the toilet. This place is called Bowl Plaza. And this is the drain of the toilet. Check it out. You know how you drop stuff down the toilet sometimes? This is kind of a representation of that. There's watches, there's keys. Look, there's little alligators. Look at that, there's toothpaste, there's mail. A shoe, who drops a shoe in the toilet? There's smokes, there's money. This is pretty cool. And look, there's even a little dog drinking out of the toilet, toilet water. <laughs> That's funny. Here is the giant toilet seat. It's a mosaic made out of all kinds of things glass. It's pretty amazing to see this. It, this is an art exhibit on, in itself, man. That's why they did it. Grassroots right here. Grassroots Arts. Here's the Grassroots Art Wall of Fame. Let's check out the giant toilet paper roll. Look at this. So it's, it's, un, it's, you know, it's unwrapped like the sidewalk here. Check it out. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's see what this little sign says. Please, no climbing or bicycles or skateboards on the toilet paper. But look at that. <laughs> TP, man. All right, guys. Pop the population of Lucas is just under 400 people. But as the grassroots art capital of Kansas, they get thousands of visitors a year. And they didn't have a public toilet. So, boom. Problem solved. Another art exhibit. And now you have a public toilet. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, I just walked in to the, the restroom and they have a men's and a women's. And check this out. The light coming in on there is pretty amazing through those bottles. I'll just take a peek in the men's restroom and check out the mosaic mural across the wall. Check this thing out. All the detail. Look at this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna use the uh, facilities, but I'm not gonna show you that. Well, guys, I just noticed this after using the facilities. 
This is probably my favorite part. It's action figures in, included in the mosaic. Check it out. There's a Wolverine up there. Huh, there's another Wolverine. I don't know who some of these guys are, but that is pretty cool. Check out the detail of this mosaic. It's not just glass. It's rock. It's found objects. Here's cork. There's toys. Look, here's some dominoes. Very cool stuff. <laughs> Exploring more in the lobby, I found this Sintas. America's best restroom. They were 2014 and runner up. So does that make them voted second best restroom? That's pretty awesome. And then right here, if you guys want to read, you can pause. I'll see if I can get it without a glare, but check it out. Here's a little information about the Bowl Plaza Public Restroom Project, a four year community project directed by the Grassroots Art Center staff. That toilet was pretty epic. The mosaic work was phenomenal, but Lucas is much more than a public restroom shaped like a giant toilet. Like I said before, there's the Garden of Eden and the Grassroots Art Center. So that just means Shannon and I will have to come back and do a full video on Lucas and all the artwork that's found throughout the city. What do you guys think about that? Should we come back? So the last stop of the day is gonna be in Womigo, Kansas, and you can see it right there. Can you read it? It's the Wizard of Oz Museum in Kansas of all places. So let's go inside and check it out. All right guys, before we go in across the street, I saw this. Yellow Brick Road, Wamigo, Kansas. Check it out. There's an actual Yellow Brick Road. Let's go ahead and see what's down here. Look at this. So it didn't really lead anywhere. It's really just for aesthetic purposes, just to say there's a Yellow Brick Road that you can walk on, which is pretty cool. There's some bricks with some business names that help fund it and build it. So, you know, cool photo op. Welcome to Annie's Front Porch. You start your experience at the very beginning of the movie on Annie's Farm in Kansas. We wanted to give you as much as Kansas as possible with the sepia tones, just like L. Frank Baum described in the book, although in the book they are gray. Uh, the stormy clouds above, and even a tornado on the corner behind that one machine. Have a great trip to us. I'll see you back in Kansas. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. There's Dorothy and Toto, Munchkin Land. Check her out. Then over here we have ooh, the witch under the house. First impressions right when I walked in. Everything is super staged. You walk in through the, through the house and then you're in Munchkin land, it's pretty cool. Right here, we have the Scarecrow, check him out. Just sitting there. Right around the corner, we have the Tin Man. Look at him. Standing there all stoic on a little bit of yellow brick road, awesome. Last but not least, the Cowardly Lion, look at him, chilling in the forest. That's pretty neat. <laughs> All of the artifacts in here are pretty cool. Cool to see them just all together from the different generations and the different languages that some of the books are in. They even have a theater where you can watch The Wizard of Oz. Check out these original movie posters. The Wizard of Oz and Technicolor and then The Wiz. <laughs> all right guys, we're gonna go on the haunted forest. I don't, think you, I, think, I don't think you're gonna be able to see much. Oh, 
Oh, there's the witch right here. Maybe if we get closer, you can see her. Ooh, there she is. Look at that. I had to break out my flashlight so you could see her. That's creepy. She was just standing in the corner. Kind of scared me. Ah! All right, we're probably in my favorite section. All things Wicked Witch. Check this out. The Wicked Witch of the West wants you to clean up this room now. <laughs> all this, all these old toys. Wow. And here she is with one of the flying monkeys. Look at his face. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. This spear is 10 and a half feet long and was used in the original 1939 movie. That thing is huge. Check it out. This display is all Muppets in The Wizard of the Oz. Look at these guys down here. Gonzo, Kermit. I almost forgot about her, the good witch. Check her out in her pink. This is pretty funny right here. Bell out of order, please knock. And then you get to walk through the gate. They even have an air balloon. You can walk up and take your selfie in right here. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out and this display is more current recent Oz memorabilia. Check it out, James Franco and Oz the Great and Powerful. Look at his face. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of the museum. The world's only Wizard of Oz museum in Wamego, Kansas. Pretty cool. I'm back at the yellow brick road because I was told it leads to a park. So the road does lead somewhere, which is kind of cool, kind of neat thoughts in the museum i love seeing all the artifacts everything from the 30s on up to now current stuff stuff in different languages you can just tell how important this story this book this movie was to everyone it still is to everyone because this museum receives 35,000 visitors a year very cool so definitely check this museum out if you are driving through kansas well me oh kansas check it out all right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this little Kansas road trip. I'm almost back home. I'm gonna click my heels together to see if I can uh, get home. Just kidding. But yeah, if you're digging these videos, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check out our Patreon, check out our Threadless t-shirt shop. And until the next Kansas road trip where I end up in Oz, man. Nice. Well, bye. <laughs> Alright guys, had to do a little selfie action in front of the in front of the museum here. Look at those monkeys up there, dude. They're gonna get me. <laughs> there it is, man.